Today I'm going to show you how I grind for respawns and get diamonds. It's one of the most requested video suggestions I get is how I get so many diamonds. So we're going to do that today. I'm going to show you this video first. I'll do a one about multiplayer and how I go about that another day. But grinding for respawns is the best way to get your specific diamonds you want gotta know the times and the places of the specific animals you're going after you can see we just set up this tripod this is one of my favorite ways so I use a tripod everywhere and I set them up about 150 meters or so away from the herd I have them at feed time right now just because it's easier to get more because it's a longer time but you can see we can get Quite a few with the M1 or the 30 odd six Eckers by going like that. And the reason we use the tripod is you can see hunting pressure is almost non existent. You can shoot, I think it's 16 animals in one spot without deleting a zone or up to 16. And so that's extremely useful. One of the biggest keys to what I do is you definitely want to use that wherever you go. And I've had. When I've been grinding respawns for the pronghorn. I've gotten the two piebald diamonds and I think I've had five max weights so far. Four or five of them. Let's see, 30 out 6 just annihilates these guys. But depending on what you're going for, you want to either use the 30 out 6 or the 300. Basically covers everything you really need besides like the level 3s and under. So you got a mule deer out there. If there's only one in the zone, you don't really need a tripod. We're just going to do it anyways. And we'll just take this guy out. Double lunged him. And so the tripod spooks, or you can use uh, tree stands too. You just usually don't want to be running around with the tree stands. You can set them up beforehand. And those work. Put them up where you know you'll find some. I do it on Layton. I don't really do it anywhere else. I don't use tree stands. But, oh, we actually have a level 5 right there. I don't really use tree stands at all. Unless I have to. Like on Layton. You can just run up to these herds. I can't, I don't know exactly where it is that they start spooking from tripods. It's either 125 or 135. So just set them just over at like 140 meters just to be safe. And then you can just dump a ton of them out of your herds. Let's put this down right here. It's actually, I don't know if this is the same herd that I got my level 4 diamond out of. Or a different one that was like drinking across the lake. It might be the same herd that drinks right there usually. Because he wasn't in a very big group. But we'll go for him after he lifts his head up hopefully. Let's reload. But you want to use the for the 4 to 9 or I should say more like 4 to 7 ideally. You want to use the M1 or the Eckers 30 odd 6, the bolt action for the respawns of those because you can just shoot and drop way more animals with them. Kind of want to go for that. I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to probably shoot those two males and get him as he's fleeing or when he goes to look. Let's do it right there. I could have gotten that other one while he was fleeing. Let's just take him out with brain shot, maybe. Did not get that. Pull this way until he comes back. This is my bad. I could have dropped a couple of them or even got him. But I wanted to see if he would not. Well, if he would lift his head up before spooking, but he just instantly spooked. There we go. See, he's alert out there. About 250 meters. Dropped him. Double lung. Single lung. Always kills him with full quick kill. So the 30 odd 6 is just 
super good for this. I love it. You can use a 7mm, it just only has one bullet. And you want to kill every single male you can out of the herds. Not just the max weights, like some say, like max estimates. I've found that it's definitely the best to shoot every male you possibly can out of the herds. And you just keep going around to every zone you know. I have guides on where to find the zones and the animals on both YouTube and I have uh, hotspot maps that I've put in my discord if you want to join there you just gotta know where they are and how to hunt them what times and then you can just go around with tripods and drop as many as you can out of all the herds and by the time you hit up every spot you know of the ones you started with and most most of them on the map will have respawned by then so you can just go back and do it again and that's how you just that's how I've been getting so many of these diamonds I think I have I'd have to count I have to have at least like 30 diamond pronghorn so I've been just grinding them super hard to try and get an albino diamond see you already had the level 5 in this herd works really well we're down here and another big thing is you need to have tents to do it effectively so you can actually get to all your spots with plenty of time let's pick this guy up a little diamond decent weight on him throw him in the lodge but you need to have tents if you want to do it effectively and you can see I got a tent right down here, so I can, I just want to, you want to place just far enough away from their zone. You want to place them about 200 meters away from the lake or their zones, so then they actually spawn in. If you're too close, they don't spawn in every time. Definitely got to watch for that. I don't think we picked up that mule deer, and we'll go do that in a second. So it actually looks like our buck despawned, because went out render unfortunately but we'll just go to our other spots you wanna have tents in the areas obviously that you have them have the zones down here on my map I have to have a zone down here I don't know why all my zones disappeared right now probably cuz I was on multiplayer there's a bug when you go on multiplayer all your zones disappear off the map so annoying but they're still on there they just you have to rediscover them again it's just so annoying I hope they fix that but you just want to put tents in the areas you know once you start hunting them you'll get to know where you want to put them the I'll put them sometimes about three or four hundred meters away from the lakes just so then if it's like I just barely open up the game or change the time by the time I run to the lake then they'll already be spawned in because sometimes they take a little bit take a few minutes to spawn in you could just open the, your game and just wait like 15 minutes and then they should be doing that but I don't usually like to wait doing nothing so do that and this is one of my other favorite spots for pronghorn is right here I need to find a better place for this tent though I've just left it here probably would be better up on this hill but it's decent enough where it is got tons of diamonds in this meadow it is such a good place for dumping tons of pronghorn so we got a few over there got you, this one's mainly a buck herd so we can drop tons of bucks out of this uh, sounds like there's one right down there but this works for all species you just want to swap up the calibers and how you hunt them depending the species some are better at drink time some are better at feed time and honestly pronghorn they have like a two hour drink time so even doing it at that is plenty doable but I just like doing it at their feed time because they're just out in the open and easy to drop there's no trees that might get in your way so do like that let's try dropping some of these guys 
if you can get the biggest first Let's see I don't know if we'll be able to get this guy because he's feeding but we'll try to you can see we got three of them and then you can easily drop some more while they're running off see we got a ton of them we got like five I think and you can get even more while they're running off see we dropped that one too dropped him and let's drop that guy and then that guy see the 30 odd six the M1 is just amazing for grinding this is how I get all my diamonds on single player or my specific diamonds I want to get you can see it's just so overpowered it's dropped that entire herd we just dropped that entire herd like it was nothing and it's an amazing way to make cash as well it, so it's super good for making money depending on the species pronghorn is one of the species that actually is super good because the 30 odd six rounds aren't very expensive and they die very easy so they don't run anywhere so you and you can drop just tons of them at a time as you can see got tons of them that was a heart shot make sure there's nothing over there so I think it's our third one fourth fifth sixth you see a thousand seventh looks like we got eight of them so we are seventh that one was not a good shot but the rest were pretty good could have aimed a little bit in front of him more but we did drop a ton of them you can see we just made like nearly 10k just in that one herd with the M1 so you got some more there's some elk down there and you can just go and shoot those with the you can either use both honestly they just take a while to die off the 30 odd six but you can get off more shots you can usually get off two shots before they spook or before they start running on elk with a 300 but basically you just want to kill every single buck you find or bull whatever the term is for whatever you're hunting just kill as many males as you can and they will respawn in mass numbers the more you kill obviously the more will respawn and the higher chance you have of one being a diamond since this guy is all by himself no other bulls in there we'll just use the 30 out 6 with the 300 I should say without a tripod looks like we got him but feed times on this map are definitely the best on other maps, drink times are definitely the way to go. The only other maps I really hunt feed times of effectively is Whitetail on Layton and some species like Wildebeest and Gemsbuck, Springbuck on Verhanga. got a mule deer buck right there we'll take out for some response because I have not had very much luck getting a diamond one of those I always get trolled I've had so many level sixes on multiplayer and tons of fives on single player that just won't make diamond I don't know what they did to them that they are just so hard to make diamond now go see what this guy scores Hopefully he, hopefully he will respawn. I've been grinding these guys too for respawns and I think I have 17 diamonds of them. I'd have to recount just to make sure. But I have somewhere in the area of 17 diamond Rocky Mountain Elk now. And love how they look in the lodge so I've been just killing them all and get, trying to get all the rack shapes. I only have one left. I have about five diamond racks. Got five or six actually. I think I got just one left that I need to get. A little silver. Respawns 
is best when you're grinding a specific species. It just works so well. You can that's how I got my rare diamonds. And that's how Flinter got his rare diamonds and his great one. Is you just gotta You just got to target that animal you're after super hard, just keep on re uh, shooting them for response and they will eventually turn into something you want. The more you play, the more you'll know their areas. And I do have some guides to show you where they are. So, you just go to there, kill every buck you can possibly can on your map, and then you can reset the time or exit the game. I don't know if that helps. It usually don't have to if you kill enough males. Um, they just instantly respawn after you kill a bunch. So you can do that. Go kill all your males, and then just keep going through your herds. Establish a route that you like to go, or a route you like to go effectively, and just keep killing them, dropping them. Use the 30 odd sixes. I that's why I recommend I'd recommend getting the one of the weapon packs. You can choose which you like. Now that the M1 is actually bearable, recoil wise, it is pretty dang good. I definitely recommend it now. Before I would strictly only use a Eckers 30 odd six bolt action, but now the M1 is, as you can see, very effective. But that is how I grind for my respawns. I have about 660 plus diamonds, and this is one of my favorite ways. And I'll share how I do it on multiplayer if you guys want. Let me know in the comments below. And with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.